Hello everyone and welcome to Codeflix. So as you can see on this screen, these are some stories. You might be familiar with stories these days as these days these are very trending. You can see it on Instagram and Facebook and also on WhatsApp. So we will make these kind of stories today only by using HTML and CSS. So as you can see in the big screen you can see the preview of the next story ahead of this. So if I click on this button it will show us the next story. So on the right side it shows the preview of the next story and on the left side it shows the preview of the story which we saw further. If I click on the left side it again shows us the further the last story which we visited and then you can click on right to skip the stories. So if I make this responsive so let's say I decrease the size of the browser. So as you can see it adjusts itself on the responsive design also. So if I click on the right portion of the screen it again skips to the next story and if I again click on right it skips to the next. If I click on the left it goes to the story which we further visited and again on left and you can see the changes. Also we can share it by clicking this button and get the link. So as you can see the link is copied. So today we will make these stories only by using HTML and CSS. So let's start. So we will start. So as you can see, I have the head section here. I have written some script tags or some links. I will put the link of the file in the description so you can take from that. Here are some head tags, some titles, some scripts which are important for our CSS. And then this is the style tag in which there are some default CSS. So one of the main important property is that in this we are using AMP technology. So in this we have to mention the CSS here in the style tag only. We cannot mention the CSS inline. So if you want to make any changes by using CSS, you have to give an class and then mention the class CSS here. So now we'll jump to the body section and we'll start so I'll declare an AMP. So I'll declare an AMP page of story page. This is the start of the tag. And I'll give an ID. Let's say I'll give an ID page 3. You can give any ID random. Just make sure that it is page slash dash and then a number. And make sure that the number is in sequence 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will call the default CSS of the tags or the links which we provided above in the head section. Then we'll give a grid layer by using the amp story grid layer tag. And a template fill. This will make a template when we can use it fully then an amp let's say we want to give a video so amp video auto play loop so what does this mean so by giving it auto play loop we will be uh, we don't need to play it again and again when the file runs it will again loop it again and again and it will play on itself here we can just give the width and height and no other CSS. Let's say we give 400 and height. Let's say we give 750. Now we'll give the link of the poster which we want to present or which we want to show. So I have a link. I'll write it here. And the layout of this poster will be fill, which is full layout will be shown. And I'll give a source. And the source in that I'll mention HTTP colon, oh sorry, HTTPS colon double slash.
this is the mp4 file which will be the video file and we have to mention the type which is video slash mp4 so this ends the video section we will close the amp video tag which is this tag by giving a slash amp video then we will close the grid layer tag this closes the grid layer tag then we will again make a grid layer above the given grid layer and give a template which is vertical for the text so we will mention some text here which will be another grid layer and the class will be bottom it will be shown in the bottom I have mentioned the CSS for this bottom class above you can check that in the link from the description I will give a div name is class and give it a name introducing I have given the CSS above you can check that then I will give a P and a class which is bold to make it bold blue then another class 20 px for 20 pixel font size then center for centering the text and then I'll mention it introducing and then I'll end the p tag I'll give a head header to h2 give it a class bold then blue center for centering the text and last and give it a name let's say amp stories and then close the header tag and then close the div and then I'll close the story grid layer tag then I close the first tag which we opened so our first page is complete so by this you can copy paste it here copy paste the things here and then you can use it again and again for multiple pages I have done one example by myself and which I'll run and show it to you so when I run the file I get a layout like this so you can skip the stories forward or go backward and if I make it responsive so I can click here and it moves forward or click here and it moves backward so this is how we make stories and you can use it anywhere thanks for watching